Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Asana task from webhook response. Let's suppose you want to connect your Asana application with a certain application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So that can be connected very easily with the help of webhook by Pabli. So we are going to connect webhook by Pabli and Asana in such a way that whenever a new response will be captured from webhook, automatically a task will be created in Asana. And to create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two principles, trigger and action. So here we are going to take webhook by Pabli in our trigger and Asana in our action. And we will connect both of them in order to automate this entire process. And to learn the entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Asana tasks from webhook response. So let's suppose you want to connect your Asana application with a particular application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. In that case, you can connect these two applications with the help of webhook by Pabli. So webhook by Pabli allows us to connect with the applications which are not connected with Pabli Connect, but the process of their connection is based on webhook. Okay, so here we are going to take the example of Jotform. Let's assume Jotform is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So let's suppose I want to connect Jotform with the help of Webhook by Pabli. Although we can connect Jotform very easily with the help of Pabli Connect as well. But here just for an example, we are assuming that Jotform is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. Therefore, we are going to connect it with the help of Webhook by Pabli. So for creating this automation, we are going to set up a connection between Webhook by Pabli and Asana. And that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this amazing automation software Pabli Connect. Okay, so Pabli Connect allows us to connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills to automate our task. Now, this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing this URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. And this will enable you to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created all of them to save my workflows accordingly, according to my choice on my dashboard. Okay. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create Asana task from webhook response. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which you want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this webhook automations folder. And now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. All right. So what are these two windows? As I've told you that automation runs on two principles, trigger and actions. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose we are going to take webhook by Pabli in our trigger and Asana in our action. And we are going to connect a specific application with the help of webhook URL. So whenever the response will be captured from that application, automatically this workflow is going to trigger and it is going to command the entire workflow and the action is going to follow that same command. So let's suppose we are going to take Asana in our action. So whenever the response will be captured from webhook, automatically a task will be created in Asana. Okay, so here after understanding the concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and for connective, a specific application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. Here we are going to use webhook by Pabli. Okay, so we have selected our trigger application as webhook by Pabli. Now, when we have selected webhook by Pabli, it has provided us with a webhook URL. So this is a unique URL with the help of which we are going to connect a specific application. Okay, so first of all, let us copy the URL. Then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So it is given that copy the webhook URL and add it under the webhook section of the application you are willing to integrate with. So let's suppose I'm going to integrate Jotform with Pabli Connect with the help of webhook URL. Okay, so I have copied the webhook URL from here and now I'm going to take you towards my Jotform account. 
so this is the form which i want to connect with pablicanet okay this is a task form now i want that as soon as a person is going to submit this form along with the task name description start date and due date automatically the response should be captured in pablicanet just for example we are taking jot form over here okay now in order to connect this form with pablicanet we are going to use webhook url which we have received from pablicanet so we have to go towards setting section and here from the left side we can find the option of integrations let's select that so after coming on integrations here we need to search for webhook okay so let's select webhook over here and now we will remove the existing data and you will simply paste the url which we have copied from public connect in this particular field in the same manner you have to find the webhook section of the application which you want to connect and then you have to paste the url which we have received from public connect like this okay and now let's click on this complete integration so our integration is ready now we will go back towards public connect and here we can find it is showing waiting for webhook response Okay, so it is given that now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now here we supposed to do a test submission. That means we need to submit the form in Jot form so that the response could be captured over here. So I am going to take you back towards my Jot form account, and here we will go towards the publish section, and we can find that this is the link of the form which we have created. So I am going to copy this link and I am going to open it in a new tab. so the form is open in front of us now i'm going to make a test submission over here so because i'm doing a test submission i'm going to enter dummy details let's start with the task name let's say the task is team meeting now i'm going to enter a description for this particular task urgent team meeting on achieving the monthly target now it is asking us the start date so i'm going to select the date over here so i've already selected the format of the date as year month and date so that we do not have to change it afterwards while creating the workflow okay now i'm going to select the start date that is 2024 month will be 02 and the date will be let's say 17th okay now i'm going to enter the due date also over here the same date okay now i'm going to submit the form So as we have submitted the form let's go back towards public connect and here we will wait for a few seconds and we can find that yes we have received the response over here in the response we have received all the details this is the webhook url through which we have connected our jot form and public connect this is the username of the account here is the form id here is the form title and these are the details which are submitted in the form okay okay this means that we have successfully connected jot form with public connect with the help of webhook url in the same manner you can connect the application which you want to connect with the help of the webhook url which is provided to you okay now when you will receive the response you can directly add the same response in asana to create a task okay so now we are going to move towards our action step and in our action application here we are going to select asana okay so in asana we want to create a task so our action event will be create a task okay let's click on connect now from the given options i am going to go with existing connection only as i have already built the connection with my asana account if you want to create a new connection then you need to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on this connect with asana all right now let's click on save and we can find that asana is now successfully connected with pabli connect so let's move further here it is asking us to select the space so i am going to take you towards my asana account and this is my workspace name pablitudes.com Okay, the same workspace is selected over here, pablitudes.com. The next is the project ID. So, what is your project ID? I can find two options over here: demo user and the social media project. So, I have already opened the project social media project. I am going to select the same over here, social media project. I want to create new task from webhook response in this particular project ID. I want to create new task from webhook response every time in this particular project social media. Okay. The next is the task name, notes of the task due at, due on, etc. So, first of all, let us enter the task. Name. We want to create the task in Asana with the help of webhook response which we have captured. So we will simply map the data from our previous step over here. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We want to map the task name which is given over here. This is the task name team meeting. I have selected it and it is mapped. So because I have mapped this data it has become dynamic that means it is going to change with each and every response. So now whenever a new response will be captured from webhook automatically the task name is going to be replaced over here in this field. And in this way we will not have to do anything manually after the connection will be made, okay? The next is the notes of the task. So we will simply map the notes as well. This is the description of the task urgent team meeting on achieving the monthly target okay here we have to enter either the time stamp of the due date or the date okay so i will simply enter the date over here 
in the field due on. It is given that due on takes a date with year, month and date format and should not be used together with due at. Okay. So we do not have to use due at and due on together. We have to use either of them. Okay. So I'm going to use due on over here in this particular format. Okay. We have already received the date as well from our earlier response. We will simply map that. And here we can find that I have received the date in separated fields. So this is the year, this is the month and this is the day. So what I'm going to do, I will simply map the year. Then I'm going to enter a dash over here. Then I'm going to map the month dash and then I'm going to map the day. Okay. So in this way, I have mapped the date over here. So because I have received the date response in separated fields, I have mapped it separately. But in your case, if you are receiving the format of the date correctly, then you can definitely map it in the exact way. Okay. Now the next is the assignee. So here I will select the assignee as admin pably. The next will be the follower and the tag. If you want to assign a particular tag to your task, you can also add the data over here in this particular field. Okay. Now we will click on save and send test request button. And we can find that yes, we have received the response over here. In the response, we have also received the ID. This means that the task is created. So let's go and check. And yes, here we can find that a new task is created over here and the due date is tomorrow. Let me open it. And this is the details. Project is social media project. This is the description of the task. Urgent team meeting on achieving the monthly target. Here is the assignee and here are all the other details. This means that the workflow is perfectly successful. So we have connected short form with Asana with the help of webhook by Pabli in such a way that now whenever a new webhook response will be captured, automatically a task will be created in Asana. So let's check this workflow once again. Once again, I'm going to copy the link of the form and, and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And now I'm going to submit the details in this particular form. Let's start with the task name once again. So I've entered all the details over here. The task name is image and caption generation. There's, this is the description, start date and the due date. Now I'm going to submit the form. So as we have submitted the form, let's go and check whether the task is created with this particular response in Asana or not. And yes, here we can find that a new task is created over here, image and caption generation. The due date is Sunday. Let me open it. And here are all the details. Okay, generate images as well as caption for the social media post. This means that the workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards Public Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken webhook by Pabli and in action, we have taken Asana. And we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new response will be captured from webhook, automatically a task will be created in Asana. In this way, you can very easily create this automation to connect an application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL. And once you will create this connection, whenever a new response will be captured from webhook URL through the application which you want to connect, automatically a task will be created in Asana. Okay, this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.